Now, continuing on with the theme of the last couple of videos where we've taken a look at how we can get rid of using plugins all the time, today I'm going to show you a great little Chrome extension that was recommended to me on my Twitter account and how we can use that to grab the code for ACF for our custom fields and all those kinds of things. So if you're comfortable getting stuck in and adding in the code yourself, but you don't want to go through the time and effort of writing that out by hand and potentially making mistakes, this little extension for Chrome is super simple, does one job and does it very well. So let's take a look at that in action and how we can start to use it. So the extension we're going to take a look at is called ACF Tools. It is a Chrome-based browser extension, so you have to be running a Chrome-based browser. There are lots available. Once you've got that, you can just install it into Chrome, and then you have this icon at the top that says ACF Tools, and it's pretty much good to go. That's all you really need to do. Now, first of all, before we move on and take a look at this, a big shout out to idesigns.ph, one of my Twitter followers for suggesting I take a look at this. Thank you very much. And if anybody else has got great suggestions, let me know on Twitter, Facebook, whatever method you want. I love checking out great tools. Okay, so what does it do? Once you've got it installed, we can come into any of our field groups in Advanced Custom Fields. And all we need to do is mouse over any of those and you can see we get a button that says Copy Code. And that's basically it, you copy the code. So we'll click on Copy Code. We'll bring in a text editor. And then what we'll do is we'll just simply paste that in. And there's the code for that specific ACF field. Now this will work with any kind of ACF field. So let me just move that out of the way again. And you can see we've got something like vehicle specifications, vehicle engine, and so on. We've also got a repeater region. So if I come over to the repeater region, say click on Copy Code, bring our text editor back in and just simply paste that in. There is the code specific to that repeater region for that set of meta fields. So this means that you have the ability to quick and easy copy this code, use that in your templates in whatever way you want to work. Once you've done that, you know you've got no spelling mistakes in there whatsoever. And you can easily just come in then and add the HTML code to format the way your information is output. So for example, we could say we want to grab this vehicle color, we'll copy that code, bring our text editor back in, and we'll paste that in. And all we need to do is see where the echo statement is, which is going to output the actual value or values. And then we can just simply wrap that in whatever HTML code we want. So let's just say we wanted this in a H2 tag. We could simply type that into there. And we would then have that formatted to H2, which we could then style with CSS. So what this does is, is if you are comfortable working with the code side of things and you want to create and edit your own templates and drop in the ACF field data, but you could be making mistakes, this is a super simple way of just grabbing that code, making any adjustments you may need to it, knowing that you're not going to have spelling mistakes, code errors, missing a semicolon or something out, and then go have to fault find what's going on. So I'd recommend taking a look at this. It's a super simple little add-on for a Chrome-based browser, but it does a great job and it does it really, really well. So there we go, a really simple, absolutely free extension for Chrome that does one job really, really well. Allows us to grab the code for our custom fields and then use that wherever we want to in our designs. Could you see yourself using this? If you could, let me know in the comment section below. And if you've come across any tools, plugins, Chrome extensions that do very useful jobs, Again, drop a link in the description below so we can take a look at checking those out and maybe take a look at making some videos further on down the line to help share that information. As always, all the applicable links are in the description below. My name is Paul C. This has been WP Tuts, and until next time, take care.